All right, guys, I had quite a few requests on how to bypass the Google FRP lock on the Motorola Droid Turbo 2 and many of the newer Motorola devices. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, disconnect the internet connection from your router, but keep your router running. So keep your router on, just uh, disconnect the cable from the back of your router, which gives it the internet from the modem. And then on your phone, you're going to click next. And then you're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to click add network. You're going to click on the comma and hold it. Go to the settings, click on Google keyboard settings, and then you're going to go back and then you're going to cancel that. Now you're going to scroll to your router, or your Wi-Fi connection. You're going to connect to it. Type in your password. And then wait for it to connect. For some people, it might take longer than others, and then you're going to get this message which says couldn't connect to the net, to the internet. Then turn your phone sideways. It'll say unfortunately setup wizard has stopped, and then flip it back around. Now click OK, hit back, hit next again, and quickly click on the square for recent apps. Now over here on top, you can click on the Google bar. You'll hit no thanks. And then over here, you could type in S for settings. It'll bring up your settings. You can open your settings, scroll down to about phone, you can scroll all the way down to build number, click until it becomes a developer, go back, click on developer options, and then you could turn on USB debugging. Click OK. Now, this is as far as I'm going to show you for security reasons. There are many ways to continue the next step. There's one more step you have to do. You guys can Google it online. There's different types of methods on finishing the step. So I hope this helped you guys on how to get the USB debugging on so you could get rid of the Google FRP lock.